Good morning. So I got some good feedback yesterday. So I'm going to try again and sign and talk at the same time. I think because you're learning, it's okay that it's a little slow signing or a little slow speaking um, and the captions that I type in for you, um, you know, hopefully will help the whole uh, comprehension process. It helps me. So today I like to talk to you about the three different types of attachment. One is secure attachment. Two is anxious attachment. And three is avoidant attachment. Now the definition is very interesting. Um, a securely attached person's tendencies are to call when they say they're going to call, text when they say they're going to text. You know when you're going to get together again. You're not left waiting. And the messages are consistent and clear that we are interested in each other. <clears throat> An anxious attachment looks like checking, 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 checking the phone frequently. Did that person text me yet? Waiting, thinking a lot about what's happening in the relationship, how that your partner's feeling. That's more of an anxious style. Avoidant is interesting because it's both avoid and inconsistent. So it would look like someone saying, oh, I love you so much and I want to get married and you feel really close physically. However, they never propose and ask you to get married and the years go on and on. That's just an example of the mixed, it's mixed messages, the inconsistency, um, that's avoidant and also avoidant can look like walking out of the room in an argument. Uh, avoidant can look like yelling. Um, avoidant can look like not talking for several days to discuss and resolve the issue that led to the most recent conflict. So those three types of attachment um, that have been studied many years ago an author of a book that I love called Attachment relates it to our adult relationships. And I've added to that theory, my own, that there's a pie and we are all a pie. And each of us have some secure attachment, behaviors, thoughts, words that we speak we all have some anxious behaviors where we can't stop thinking about something in a relationship that's bothering us or texting or checking the phone. We all have avoidant tendencies. Just some have more of their pie avoidant than others. And um, I'm sure you've all had that experience when you feel offended by something that first reaction is, oh, forget it, I give up. But then you think about it, hopefully, for a while. And remember the coping strategy that I teach, which is when you don't know what to do and you're upset about an interaction with somebody, do a secure attachment behavior. So in future vlogs or videos, I will explain more about how these three play such a huge role um, during the dating process and when you're engaged, if you're going to be engaged or if you're married, um, these, these three are going to play out because we all have a pie and one third is secure, anxious, and avoidant, but maybe it's not a third. I grew up with a bigger slice of anxiety and now that I've gotten older and wiser, 
my pie has a much bigger slice of secure attachment, feelings, thoughts, and behaviors. I hope this is helpful to you.